Hello and welcome back to the course on Tableau. And in today's tutorial, we will learn how to make our dashboard interactive. So what do we mean by that? Well, what we want to do is we want to allow the user of this dashboard to drill into certain parts of the dashboard by just simply clicking on it. So for instance, if the user wants to drill into a certain state, like um, Ile de France, for instance, um, he can just simply click on this bubble and then the customer scatter plot will automatically adjust to reflect only the customers that live in that state. And the same thing goes for any other state because that will add a lot of value to this uh, dashboard and to the users who are going to be using it because they'll be able to analyze different uh, geographical regions individually and separately. So let's see how we can do that. In order to do that, we need to add an action. And in Tableau, there are two main types of actions. Uh, they're called filtering and highlighting. So let's go to the dashboard drop down here and we'll click action. Here you can see that if you want to add action, um, you can choose between filter, highlight. There's also a third action called URL, which will take you to a certain link, but we won't be looking at that for now. Um, instead of adding an action here right now, what we will do is we will add an automatic action, which is much easier, and that will help us slowly get into this uh, topic of actions. So what we're going to do is at uh, the top of map of Europe, we'll look, uh, click this drop down, and we will select the menu which is called use as filter. So as soon as you click that, it's all done. So now, as soon as I click on Ile de France, you will see that the scatter plot has been adjusted. If I click on England, it's also been adjusted. I click on Netherlands, right away you can see it's adjusted. So as you can see, I am able to now very easily select different um, states and see what's going on in each one of these states. So that is a very handy um, way to analyze data. So what exactly happened? Let's have a look in more detail. Now if we go to dashboard and we go to actions, you will see that there is an action here already and it's generated action, meaning it was added automatically. Now let's click on this generated action and we'll click edit. So here you can see that there's a few fields. First of all, what is the source of the action? Dashboard one is our dashboard that we're looking at and in dashboard one, it is map of Europe that is the source of the action. The action is run only when you select a certain element. And once you've selected an element, um, the action is applied to the target sheets. The target sheets are the customer scatter plot and the map of Europe once again. So in this case, what it's going to do is it's going to filter the customer scatter plot. Um, it won't actually take out the rest of the values from the map of Europe because Tableau is smart. It knows that uh, if you take out the rest of the values from the map of Europe, then you won't be able to click on something else. So um, let's have a look at that again. I click OK. And now once I'm selecting, as you can see, this is the source of the action. And these two are the targets of the action. So in this case, the customer scatter plot being the new worksheet uh, is being filtered. So as I click through the states, uh, these customers are on, the only the customers that live in that state are being left. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to dashboards, we go back to actions, and we'll adjust this action just to have a play around with it. Now instead of a select, let's choose hover. What that will do is the action will be applied as soon as we hover over a um, dot on our map. So let's see how that works. Click OK, click OK, and now let's hover over um, some of the states. As you can see, our dashboard, I'm not clicking anything, and the dashboard is being adjusted uh, right away as we're just hovering over. And that is another way that you can present your dashboards. It might be uh, more convenient in certain cases for you to be just uh, to require to just hover over these bubbles to get the second worksheet to adjust itself. Now let's look at the last option that we had there. If we go to dashboard actions, and we click edit or we select menu, what will happen is instead of adjusting uh, the dashboard right away, we are presented with a menu where we can uh, toggle um, the dashboard ourselves manually. But personally, I don't um, use that often. So now let's do some more other things. So if we go to dashboard, actions, uh, edit, uh, let's leave it at select and let's explore this part of the dashboard. So what happens 
uh, when we clear the selection? Well, we can either show all values, which is happening now. So once we click somewhere else on the map, uh, all values are returned. Uh, what we can do is leave the filter. So let's have a look at that. So click OK. And now if I select a state and then I click somewhere else, as you can see, all the states are shown again, but the filter is, uh, stays on. So if I click somewhere else and I click back, once again, the filter does not is not removed which is probably not a good thing in this case because it is misleading. It looks like all the states are selected, but in reality, not all the customers are shown. So let's change that. Go to edit and you can also do exclude values. So have a look at that uh, in your own time. Um, it basically just will exclude all the values from uh, your scatter plot. So we'll just click it, uh, leave it back on show all values, click OK and as soon as we select something and unselect it, we once again have all values. So two more things that I wanted to show you. The first one is how you create can create that specific filter on your own. So let's go to dashboard actions and we'll delete this filter, remove it, okay? So once again, now you can see that once I click, nothing happens. Uh, the scatter plot is not adjusted. If I go to dashboard, I want to add the filter on my own. I go to actions, I want to add action, filter, here, the source of our filter is a map of Europe. We can call our filter um, select uh, geography because we don't want to call it select state because we might want to change our dashboard and show it at the city level one day. Uh, it'll be a select type of filter. I show all values upon clearing the filter and those two are the target sheets. Okay, click okay. And there you go, now it's all working and we created that filter all on our own. So that's that's great, that's uh, how you create actions manually. And the next uh, thing I wanted to show you is that you can actually select multiple regions. So um, I can select two or three, I'm just holding control on my keyboard and I can select many. Or I can use um, the multiple select feature here in Tableau. So say a rectangular selection and here I've got the customers shown for all of those um, states. Or I can do uh, a circular selection, say I want to select that, and these are new features for Tableau 9. So here I can uh, select these customers. Or uh, a great one which I like is um, this free form selection. So let's say I want to select all the people that are in France, in the French states, and there you go. I've just selected everybody in France as easy as that. And now I can analyze the customers that live in France. So that is how you create action uh, filters in um, Tableau dashboards. And that is also how you can select many uh, points on your map. And in the ne next tutorial, we will talk about the action which is highlighting. And we will look at why highlighting is a bit different to filters and what the intricacies are there. Have a play around with that and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy analyzing.